Hey everyone, this is Infinity Parks, and judging by the shirt that you can barely see, I am actually not doing a Star Wars review today, I'm actually doing a Disney review. Just not any Disney uh, video, I'm actually doing a pin collection and other collectibles video. So, yeah, let's get started. So, I'm going to start with the ones that were in my recent loot video, and then I'll start going back and back until like... I think the oldest one I have is 1996. I don't remember. Um, but yeah. So first we have the Scarif one, which is from Rogue One. It has the Death Star in the background and an AT-80. Uh, next I have, I'm putting those on the ground, um, Scarif Troopers from Rogue One as well. Scarif Troopers, Elite Soldiers of the Galactic Empire. That's what it says from the top to bottom. Oh, we can't see very good. But it's like the tan colors. Camera doesn't like to pick that up. Uh, next, I got the Stormtrooper Elite Soldier, which looks like the Stormtroopers in a Rebels style. Uh, next is the Enlist Now, the Death Trooper, the Shore Trooper, and then the Storm Trooper with the Death Star in the background. I was going to say Death Star Plans, but no, it's not blue, it's not like technologically. Yep. Uh, next is my favorite, which is the TIE Striker. And the Ewing. Lastly, I have the newest one is the Stormtrooper Elite Soldiers of the Galactic Empire. So it's the same as the Scarab Trooper, but Stormtrooper this time. Yep. And then let's start going further back. So, and these won't be in particular order except ones that like I have together. So like I have the limited edition Candlelight Processional. Epcot Holiday Around the World 2016. I wanted that one because I was in Candlelight this year. I mean last year in 2016, so I wanted to see what pins they had for it. And actually, surprise, surprise, we actually got a cat version as well. So it's like the same thing, but not. I like them both. I like this version better, but this one's actually really cool to have too. So I have them both together. Says on the back. Very good. This is cast member exclusive. But yeah, that's the Candlelight Processional Cast Choir 2016 pin and the Epcot Processional. Uh, so next we have the a one that I didn't get, but my parents got when Force Awakens came out. They went on a cruise, Disney cruise. And they got this for me, which is the premiere at sea, Force Awakens. It's a really big pin, like as compared to a, I don't know, regular pin. As y'all getting onto these ones later. Yeah, so yeah, it's the Force Awakens when that came out. Um, next is the ones that come in these, the mystery packs and the one on front because I wanted a few because there's a few on the back that are shown and I wanted the death trooper and the stormtrooper and a Krennic so I actually just got the death trooper and here he is right here I still have him on his back card and it says it comes with two so you get one of the featured and then you get one mystery pen and the one I got on the back, which I didn't know who he was until I saw the movie, is Bodie Rook. And uh, from what I can tell from the mystery pins um, and artwork I've seen, these are actually artworks, just made in pins now. Uh, one of them is Darth Vader, which I was wondering where he was, but I guess they do have him, but he's just a really rare mystery pack. Those are the two I got, Death Trooper and Bodhi. Um, next is uh, the Disney Cruise Line um, 
Disney Dream Pin. The inaugural voyage is I took both the Dream and the Fantasy over here. You'll see the Fantasy Pin later. And yeah, it shows all the characters in their respective ship outfits. years ago, 2001. Yeah. 14 days on that cruise. Went from Germany to somewhere in Spain and then back here. And funny story, we actually lost our clothes on that too. We bought our Disney merchandise. Yeah. We're back to Disney Dream, not the way. Uh, next one is the holidays around the world back in 2001. Okay, so it's, like, it's like this one, but 2001. So that's a span of what 15 years looks like. And they're both pretty much the same way. Actually, this one feels a little bit heavier. I personally like this one, just because I'm cast clear. Uh, next one is. Uh, recently, we went on a Star Wars cruise back in March of 2016, and I got a bunch of pins from there, so this is one of them, which is Voyage Across the Galaxy, as the X-Wing in front of the cruise ship with the Millennium Falcon going over. Yeah. And I had two of these, but I gave one away. Uh, next is a Force Awakens pin because I started collecting them again when Force Awakens came out. So I have the Flame Trooper. I'm a huge fan of the portraits when you have like just the character there and you'll see like a bunch of them like Kylo Ren and the Storm Trooper. But yeah, I like this one because it's the Flame Trooper and it was one of my favorite characters when that came out. Because it was something different because we've never seen Flame Troopers before. Except in Clone Wars. Um... Next is a pin that I wanted for a long time because I chose to go to a Disney park every single day during my first year of working. And so I went like, ever when I came to work, I went like, oh, which park do I want to do today? And I spent it, I was like, oh, look, Magic Kingdom. I spent it again. It was Magic Kingdom again. They have uh, Hollywood Studios, which that's the old uh, thing for it. So this is an old pin even though it's like recently. So it has Hollywood Studios there, Epcot there, and Animal Kingdom there. And it says around it, what in the world will we do today? It was one of my favorite things. I had it on my backpack when I went. Uh, so next uh, up is another one of those portrait pens. Kylo Ren. Mickey ears, it looks like he has Mickey ears. It was my first bin when I started collecting them, because I kind of ran back then. Uh, now we'll get into some pins that I have no clue where they came from, but my parents gave them to me. Uh, I grew up with Pooh Bear when I was little, and it was the theme I was born with and trained, so I was both going to come out and Pooh um, next is this one is another one that I have no clue where it came from. It's like Thanksgiving and it says 2001. For some odd reason I got cut off, mostly because of storage. And but we're back and I'll continue on the pins here. Because I have a lot more to go and other things. So this one is Happy Thanksgiving 2001 limited edition. But yeah, I have no clue where I got this one, but my parents gave me a like, here you go. I'm like, thanks. Because I have the huge pin collection. Another one is a participant limited edition 5,000, 56,000 cast members, well, just new cast members, participant 2006. No clue what it was a participant of, but I wasn't in Disneyland. But it's Dumbo from some place. Uh, uh, 
um, Disney Volunteers, which is a thing I'm a part of. It's like you do community service, Disney. Yeah, it's a pin I have. Um, next is one of those portrait pins. It's the Stormtrooper, which actually I found out recently is actually the heavy version because he's got the jacket, the heavy plaster fire jacket on the front. And yeah, he looks like he has Mickey ears too. It's a funny thing about these. Force Awakens, Stormtrooper. Uh, next is another Disney Dream pin. Captain Mickey, it says Nago Voyage right here. And then 2011 right here, and it says Disney Dream right there. Uh, this isn't actually a Star Wars pin, but I have a story with it. Um, on the Star Wars cruise, I actually ran into a Lucasfilm storyboard person, I think his name is Paul, um, but like we had a trivia challenge and I got second place, I got robbed of my win because um, my lightsaber was broken, that's how he answered it, he married a lightsaber, mine was broken, um, but yeah, he gave me this because he thought I got snuck too, so that's my surprise. It's not actual Disney thing, it's a Lucasfilm of Limited. It is LFL. Um, oh, this one, 2005 Disneyland 50th Anniversary 10. Because I'm a, I'm a gold in, uh, but we're gonna be gold after one more, which is hopefully coming up soon. Um, the cruise line, so I guess we can't go up I had two of these, I don't know the other one. Um, so, close. so, these two are also. Star Wars Day at Sea pins. There are the Star Destroyer and TIE Fighter in the Rebels versions. This one broke like three times because the back is so easy to come off. So it's been glued on three times. Yep. So those are Star Wars Day at Sea pins. Um, then we'll go on to the name tags that I had before we finish off the pins because I have a Star Wars Day at Sea one. So this is the very first pin I've got, the very first name tag I got. It says my name in Arabic. You could translate it, you get my name. Um, back then I was from Coruscant. It says may the force be with you, Star Tours. It's the very first year they started making them, so I had the most simpler version. And. Here's the latest one, which is from Star Wars Day at Sea. And it says my name in Arabic again. Star Wars Day at Sea. Star Wars Day at Sea, Star Wars, Cruise Line. And I'm actually an Imperial this time. And it says Voyage Across the Galaxy, because that's the motto they have. And I just saw one the other day of the newer park versions, and I really want to get one of those, because you can have either the Rebel Line symbol or the Empire symbol up here. And if he says Imperial right here, then you'll know what symbol I want on the top. Uh, okay. Now we'll get on to all the, the actual pins I actually collect. So I actually collect the cast member costume pins. They are uh, a lot of them and I only have a few and I'm still looking for a lot of them. So we'll get off with the first one of the Finding Nemo Epcot, like the Living with the Seas costume. It took me a while to figure this out. I'm like, why are they in such normal attire? But it's actually the Disney Living with the Seas pin. Uh, we have next, this one's a weird one too, but it's actually the Muppets in uh, Hollywood Studios. That's what they wear, and they actually have hats. So that's cool. Uh, next is the Hollywood Tower of Terror. And then, funny, the 
the cool thing that I like is that they actually all have the name tag right here. Uh, next is this one changed, but this is the original Star Tours costume. So this is the original Star Tours. Um, this one is actually Frontierland, which is where I worked. This is actually the costume I wore. It was white with dark blue and then dark blue pants. Um, I probably won't have a picture of it unless I find one day that I want to show off my Disney experience. Uh, next is one that they, this is actually the winter gear, which is what I found out, but this is Toy Story Mania. They don't actually wear this, this is actually the winter coat that they wear. And lastly is the latest one I got just the other day, um, the, the Great Movie Ride pin. So yeah, those are the ones I collect, the cast member pins. And, okay, getting on to the final pins, I think I have, yeah, just four more, actually no, yeah, four more. So, since I work in monorails, I had to collect monorail pins, I only have three because they're so hard to find, but this is the dark red one, um, this is the one that's like, I don't know, the ride in Disneyland, it's like the red and blue Nautilus. And lastly is the dark blue one. Which these aren't actually real designs from what I can tell. Unless Disneyland did something with them. And then the last one is the Confederacy of Independent Systems pin, which I just got the other day as well. At the same time of the Hollywood Hotel. Or the Great Movie Ride. Um, and lastly, these, these are actually, in monorails we used to wear maroon colors. So we actually have, still have the things, the epaulets that we had on our shoulders. Decided to keep them because they're, they're going away. And this one I got. Um, next are actually non-pins, but they're buttons, collectibles, and other things. Um, I got this randomly at Animal Kingdom one day. That Yak and Yeti came with free with every order. So I've kept it since. Um, Next is the Walt Disney World Imagineering pin thing. Yeah. This is a position I might want to do someday. Um, got the Disney Family Holiday Celebration ornament. You get one every single year. My mom has a bunch of them, but this is my first year one. So this is the very first one I ever have. It was this December. Um, yeah. On September 30th, 2016, they came out with these buttons, and I got this one at my work because I worked through contemporary Polynesian and sometimes Fort Wilderness. Not really, because Monterey doesn't put these there. Um, this is the one that we got, and then this is the one that my mom got and she gave me. We got multiple of October 1st, actually, 2016. I didn't say September 30th. Uh, next is the Shanghai Resort pin when Shanghai first came out, which was June 16th, 2016, which is six days after my birthday. Next is one that I got at the same time as those pins that my mom gave me because I wanted to know. I started collecting buttons too, and I wonder, hey, was there one for the dream and fantasy when it came out? And I'm like, yeah, here's them right here. So here's the dream one, sailing 2011. And here's the fantasy one, 2012, which was a year later, and we went on that one too, 14 days as well. We didn't lose our luggage, and we actually went to New York. For the christening of the ship. Yep. And this one I got from one of my CP friends because she had an extra and I didn't be able I wasn't able to find it. So she gave it to me. She was CP Disney College Program. Which is like you can bring like if you take if you're in college in a different state, 
you can come and like work at Disney for like a semester. Yeah. Yeah, Force Awakens. Um, this one I just got in an order because of this shirt. I got this shirt online and I, there was a like free discount code and I got this. Doesn't mean anything, just wanted to have it. Um, next to our personal ones, it was like the, the last location I worked at before Monorails was called Pecos Bill, Tall Tail Land and Cafe, and Magic Kingdom and Fantasyland, and Frontierland. And it's like I survived it because it was a whole nine months of working there. Working on food. So yeah, I wanted to tell you that it's an ongoing show we had. Anybody that got out, I feel like I have survived. And then that was on July 10th that I wore that. And here's my birthday pin from last year, June 10th. Spent the day in Magic Kingdom, because why not go on your birthday to where you work? Now, those are all the buttons, and I actually have more collectible stuff. So, recent in uh, my new work location, we have something called monorail trading cards. There's about 27 total, and they also include buses and uh, watercraft. And I have 24 of the 27, so I have 12 monorails, which are all the reds here, of one of each color. Um, there's some that I'm still missing though, so I have no clue where they are. I've asked everyone and I'm like, I don't know. Do you have them all so far? Um, all the boats. And lastly, all the buses, which is four of them. And uh, we're, we're supposed to carry them. Each pass one carries them. I carry blue, just because it's my favorite color. And here's the whole stack I have at home. Just refill them every day. And lastly is the um, the King Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom card, which I have this many of. I think it's like 30 cards, but I have some exclusive cards of some from the Christmas party and Halloween party. This one was the one of Halloween this year last year 2016 and here's the one from Mickey's Very Merry of 2015 because I didn't go 2016 because it was too expensive uh, yeah. and that seems to be all of them so, yeah So that's all my Disney collectibles, pins, and buttons, and cards, and this was a request video from DisneyFreak95 and also JediMaster738, so if you can go follow them, they follow me, probably going to comment on this video, so yeah, go follow them, as some of them brought subs for me. So thank you for watching, and Hope you enjoyed my collection of Disney pets. And I forgot one last thing. Um, at Monorails, we get selected to do pin trading. So I got selected recently to do pin trading. And then these are the pins that I have. I traded these three, uh, the Figment, the Anna, and then the Tigger one yesterday. For the others. One of them was the Sorcerer's Apple. Sorcerer's Mickey Apple, as well as, oh, uh, Oswald, um, Zoom Zoom, I forget the other one, I forget the um, but I like these are the ones that I can trade at work, this is actually a double, this is, um, one I have my own, this is the one they gave me, and that's the Hollywood Hotel one, in, uh, I guess limited color, I don't like those ones. I think they're rare. Yeah, these are the pins that they create at work. Thanks for watching.